Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, this is a video that I really was super excited to film when I had this idea, this like kind of revelation I had. I know that there may be a lot of you who literally just skip to the part in which I show the bag. However, if you are someone who actually watches to the end and does resonate with kind of where I am in life right now and you know being 30 and just being in a different headspace to what I was when I was like heavily addicted and in a really unhealthy place with my shopping please if you feel comfortable make yourself known because I do love to know and I would love to know like how many of you kind of like this type of content as well not like the handbag stuff not like the unboxings this isn't going to be a reveal type thing it's not going to be like any other unboxing kind of thing because i honestly thought i could get away with doing this video without <laughs> without even sharing the bag um and because i'm so socially unaware i genuinely thought i could do that and someone actually had to explain to me that no you can't do that like you're just going to enrage people like you, you can't do that and i was like oh okay Noted. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so literally first, God, what are we? First like minute and a bit. This is the bag, as you can see right here. And like I said, you know, I'm not gonna go into much detail about this bag because it's not even really a bag, it's a wallet. It's a Kelly, what is it? Kelly Classic Wallet blah 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 I don't know you will find you know 101 videos on TikTok on YouTube on Instagram wherever you so choose to consume your content you will find a million and one bags thanks <laughs> you'll find a million and one videos about these kind of wallets wallet on they're not even wallet on chain these things this I'm roughly <laughs> this revelation that I had about this whole process of purchasing this bag was something that I haven't felt since truly the first bag I ever bought that was you know god maybe 10 years ago in Louis Vuitton when they were like a grand or two <laughs> those were the good old days and this experience actually made me realize how far gone I was without actually realizing how far gone I was so you know I'm sure you know if you've watched my other videos previously but I did go like I bought my last bag in December of 2022 so this bag I bought last month that was February so a little over it's like the end of Feb early March I went a good few months over a year without purchasing any handbags without really like hunting any down without having the desire and even now I used to be in a headspace where I would be on to the next like I would I would own this bag and I'm like okay well what's next like what's next I'm not there I don't feel that way I don't have any urge or any desire to rush out and buy another handbag or another you know wallet or anything like that and I honestly don't know when I'm going to buy a new one but I wanted to kind of share this thing that I realized that was I personally deemed to be such an important philosophy I don't like the word rule but I prefer the word philosophy <laughs> when it comes to shopping that I think if you're really into shopping if you identify shopping as something that you really enjoy if it's a stress relief for you if it's a hobby if it's something you do for fun if it's something you know if you're a collector if you love handbags or shoes or whatever you may like just not even realize this feeling because I for so long didn't like I was somebody in my 20s who was buying bags so regularly and that was normal to me and when I tell you I would open up I mean some of them would excite me more than others most part I would get the delivery and I would open it up I'd be like, oh my god, yay, cool. You know, I'd film it and do my little spiel about it and that would be it. And I think a lot of the excitement that I used to express on my YouTube channel was very much performative, I think. Probably just almost like the hype and the excitement of being able to share it with like you or like, you know, I don't know if you're even still sticking around, let me know, but <laughs> just having like the excitement of actually sharing it with someone and knowing that I was gonna just get like flooded with validation of like, that's such a great bag. That excited me more, but actually purchasing this handbag and bringing it home, it was a different type of excitement. And I was actually reminded of this feeling, like I said, that I felt, you know, close to 10 years ago when I bought my first ever handbag. And it's like this true, giddy excitement that really for the last 10 years I don't think I have felt 
like I have with this purchase and I forgot how exciting it was and how exciting I think moving forward for me that it will be. I'm not saying it should be for you, I'm not trying to show, tell you how to live your life, but when I tell you how excited I was, like I was tracking this handbag delivery and there's been a lot of purchases in my 20s because I was shopping so much, I was not doing that. Like I was expecting handbag deliveries and freaking deliveries left, right and center. Most of the time I didn't even remember what I bought. But when I actually found out that this bag was on its way and it was coming, I was tracking this bag like mad. Like I was, <laughs> I even <laughs> was blocked from the Hermes website <laughs> because I'd logged on too many times in one day um, to track the item because I just didn't want to miss it. And actually it turned out I did miss it. I was not home when the delivery took place. And I was counting down the hours until I could go pick it up from the designated drop-off like location. I was literally counting down the hours. I even called up the designated like drop-off location. I was like, hey, I was told in my little note that I need to wait till 6 p.m. But I was just wondering by any chance, is it there yet? And like, they're like, um, no, but like you can call back in an hour if you want and check. And I was like, okay, cool, thank you. Like, <laughs> I felt like a kid at Christmas. Like I could not wait one or two hours, which is <laughs> I recognize that to some of you that may be a little bit unhinged, but what I realized in this experience was, like I said, opening this purchase up, I was genuinely so excited. I wanted a Kelly to go for years, but I was always really not interested in paying the ridiculously overpriced resale pre-loved prices. I was always super wary and I always am still super wary about buying pre-loved because there are so many fakes and I'm not at all educated enough in fakes and I think fakes are actually getting really deceivingly good and I just knew that if I wanted this I, I wanted to get it in a way that I knew it was authentic and I was really like my ego just would not let me pay over retail. I literally wore it around the house all evening. I knew that there was something different about this experience when I literally unloaded the dishwasher and was like plotting around my house with this handbag on. And then the next morning went to my workout class wearing this. Like I was excited to wear it. That excited that I wore it to a workout class. And I just need to, you know, like make it clear that I didn't wear this bag to the workout class to flex, to show off. Like these women, they wouldn't, I quite certain, I'm quite confident that they didn't even see the bag, they didn't even recognize it, they didn't even care. Like I literally was there, took it off, put it in my little like locker section, nobody saw it. I, I did it for me, it wasn't for like the flexing, it wasn't for anyone else. I was just so genuinely excited to wear it. And I've never taken a handbag to a Pilates class. And this is kind of the philosophy that I'm wanting to get across to you. I mean, if you're someone who is doing a low buy or a no buy year or just trying to, you know, more intentionally spend your money. I really hope that this is a side effect of that for you because I didn't expect for this to be a side effect of, you know, this kind of like no buy. Like I didn't set out to do a no buy. I didn't set out to do a low buy. And I feel the need to make it really clear. I don't want anyone to make any assumptions even though I'm sure they will, but this at all like does not mean that I'm going to be out again like excessively buying handbags or you know coming on and doing unboxings. I mean as I'm sure you, if you're still watching thank you so much but I'm sure you can tell that this is a very different style of reveal than I used to do on my channel because I, I wanted to more talk about this feeling and this like realization and this kind of new philosophy that probably most like level-headed sane people <laughs> experience. But I think I was like so close, almost too close to the, oh, what's that saying? You know, where you're, so you're almost too close to a painting and you need to like step back to actually be able to really see everything and appreciate everything. And I think that's where I was, you know, I was buying so excessively, you know that. Take a shot every time I've ever said that, you'd be on the floor, um, we both would. But I, I realized that this is how it should feel, you know, like if you're going to spend, and if I'm not you, I shouldn't make any assumptions for you, but if I'm going to spend money, this is what I want it to feel like. Like if I'm going to spend this much money, this is what I want it to feel like. This is how I want to feel when I shop. I appreciate any concern and I'm sure there will be assumptions that this is going to then propel me back into an unhealthy spending place. I genuinely don't think so. I'm really confident and I'm really like grounded in the belief that this is not 
anything and it's not verging in a dangerous territory again because I know what that feels like and this feels different. I have no desire for any other handbags. I'm not chasing any, any other handbags. I don't have a list of any other handbags I want. I'm just really happy with this at the moment and I'm really enjoying this. And I think that when you're spending so much and you're always looking for the next best thing, I forgot this feeling. I forgot what it feels like. And if you're someone who is an intentional spender, you don't spend a lot of money on things all the time, you probably experience this anyway. Like, let me know in the comments down below. This is kind of where I'm at now and this is how I want all of my purchases to feel. I mean, I probably, that seems a bit wild. Maybe not like all of them, you know, there are obviously things I'm gonna need from time to time, like a refill or a replacement or, you know, just the other day, like I broke one of my glass bowls. So I had to go replace it, but I wasn't like, you know, at, in the department store being like, oh my God, a glass bowl, I'm so excited. I know it's not gonna be like this with every purchase, but I do think that with, especially when it comes to my wardrobe, with my clothing choices, this is how I want to shop moving forward. I want to be this excited, or like at least on like a some level, you know, maybe not like this degree, because this is a bag, I mean, some of you might not even call it a bag, but you know, this is a piece that I kind of just always thought, oh no, I'm never gonna get, even get a chance to get that. Let's just like completely put it out of our mind. But I think moving forward, this is how I want to, to kind of shop and spend and, I just wanted to come on and share that with you because I know that there are still so many of you here that were here with my old content. And if you're still here, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really, I really am so grateful for you. And please make yourself known in the comments because I'm really expecting that maybe, <laughs> I'm expecting to see there isn't that many of us here right now after the reveal, but maybe I'm wrong. I would really love to hear kind of where you're at. If you're someone who does, partake in more intentional spending with, you know, whatever you choose to spend your money on. Are you someone who is kind of doing a low buy or a no buy or trying to reel in your spending? Have you done this and have you came to the same realization that I am at? Like this feeling was a forgotten feeling and yeah, I've just remembered. I'd love to hear if this is a similar feeling that you went through, you know, did you go through this experience? If, if maybe you're a couple of years ahead of me in this journey. I would love to hear if this is something you experience as well. It kind of made me really start to reevaluate every area of my life, you know, and it's, it's the same with most things. You know, if you're eating chocolate cake every day, you're not going to be excited when you get invited to a birthday where there's like this amazing chocolate cake because you're like, oh, I eat chocolate cake every day. It's like sometimes you can actually have too much of a good thing to the point where it's not even exciting anymore. And I think that's where I got to. I fully recognize as well, I've spoken about this on other videos, but I feel the need to reiterate. This purchase, short term, short term joy. You know, this these things do not give me long lasting, um, genuine happiness. They're just like short little bursts of chocolate cake. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I would love to hear in the comments down below if you kind of resonate with this or if you get it. And if you feel like this with any of your areas of your life, like what's something that maybe you've realized Oh, shit. like I majorly or am majorly overindulging in that. Maybe I should kind of lay off and see, see if things change for me for that. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below regarding that. And uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna have another few linked for you here if you wanna check those out. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.